Hello everybody, and welcome back. So, we are getting ready to put our new fan in. So if you get one of these fans from uh, TH3D Studio here, you'll get these little connector clips. And the fan, with just open leads. And that was it, in the box. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is... Take our old fan out of the shroud here. And we can see, I'll pull out some extra wire for us so we can uh, snip this and put this in place. Alright, let's go ahead and cut this. Uh, we'll leave a little bit just in case we want to use this fan for something. So, uh, about there. And then we want to split these wires apart. There we are. And something like that. That way we got some room to work with. And on this guy, the new one, we don't need all this extra length. So we'll go ahead. We'll give ourselves some extra, but we don't need that much extra. So go ahead and snip it to here. And we end up with something like this. Yeah, let's go ahead and mount our fan. Uh, on these ones, they have arrows. It shows you the direction of the blade, which which it spins this way, and which way the airflow is. You can also tell by the fins, they're usually kind of cupped to catch air. Oh, and I forget. With these, uh, yeah, your stock screws don't fit through these. So we will have to uh, either drill these out or find a longer screw. And I think I'm just going to drill them out because they don't need very much. Just a little bit. Okay. As for drilling them out, we'll get... I'll let you know here the size here in a sec. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, let's see, seven thirty seconds for a standard bit. That's all I got. Load it up in our drill. Gotta be kind of careful doing plastic. These bits like to catch. You just gotta go slow. Be careful not to break nothing. And you don't need to go all the way through, of course, because you need the screw to hold it. Okay, and for a test fit, there we go. 
It'll slide right in there. So let's head back over to the Troxy here and install this. Right, back over at the machine here. I'm just screwing in this one here on the bottom. I don't heard a crack yet. Oh, oh, oh. Good enough. And our other screw. Okay, and uh, I'm actually going to get another one, a third one here, and hold this uh, top corner. There we go, that ain't going nowhere. So now we just got to strip them, strip them out. You don't need a lot. Strip just enough to work with. Something like so. We got some heat shrink. Found this at a... Uh, just an auto parts store you can get like a a big box all different kinds of size tube in there and just cut cut what you need okay the iron is hot Let's find some heat shrink tubing that we like. I would say this should work. And we'll go ahead and cut this uh, cut this up for the connections here. We'll do directly in half. That'll be both sets. And here we'll do black to black sorry for the angle it's hard to see I know I can't see either You want to try to kind of tie them up in a way you get a good, you know, mechanical connection. You know, you can't easily pop them apart. I didn't do mine too well, but that's okay because I need the heat shrink on first anyways. So you want to make sure this is far away from your soldering iron because it will shrink down onto your wire. Okay, once you get one secured, the small wire is a pain, I know. It's tedious, but just try to do the best you can. Take, uh, take your iron, start heating this up. There we go.
Cool that down a little bit. Slide your heat shrink over the connection there. And it's best to use a heat gun. I don't got one. That lighter works okay too. So that's one connection down. A little toasty. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm trying blue to red. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't make it black and red, but black and blue for this. I guess so they can tell the difference when they plug it into the board. But um, good thing with DC, I think these... We'll s I'm not sure if these reverse or not, but you'll find out. If it spins this way, you got to switch them over. You want it to spin this way. All right, got the next one uh, connected up. Same process. There we go. Heat shrink over. And get a little bit on the ends. There we go. Good to go. And we'll go ahead and give her a test. Okay, so I went ahead and I tucked this up in here, just kind of gave it a little fold and kind of clean it up a little bit. Right now I'm preheating up to 50. There we go, we're spinning. And it's moving a good amount of air and it's nice and quiet. I'll try to get you guys up nice and close and personal. Yep, and that's it. Definitely quieter than this other fan, that's for sure. The other fan was, uh, uh, had like a lot of vibration. So this is definitely a lot quieter. I'm happy with it. Works good. We wired it the right way. And I think that's it for this video. So, that's the Troxy. Got the new fan. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.